coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Look at my mug. I got this mug, I think like years ago from one of my subscribers and it was in my, um, do you guys remember? Was it in a vlog? I think it was in a weekend vlog that I told you guys that I keep the mugs that you guys send me in my, like, bar area so like where you're supposed to keep your champagne flutes and like merlot glasses i keep my mugs <laughs> my my special subscriber mugs mm. so today i was actually you know what would be funny i am actually vlogging this weekend this is one of those occasions where i'm annoying myself for the record <laughs> if you guys don't know i vlog on the weekends. Now I don't even know what camera to look at. Anyway, this is just a shameful plug to my weekend vlogs. So, yeah. Anyway, let's just uh, go ahead and get started. This is my monthly favorites, and I feel as time has progressed, they just get deeper, deeper, and deeper into the month. So I figure that eventually we'll just catch up with ourselves. But that's all right, we'll just call them current favorites. And if you hear smacking, biting, chewing, licking, slurping, we have like a like a canine feast occurring in the background. We have one over here gnawing on rawhide, one over there feasting on a treat and kibble, and it's just, this video is a monthly favorites, and it's going to be probably like 30 minutes long for the record. And let's say if you guys found me three or four years ago, you probably found me because of an unboxing. That was like my thing. Ipsy, Mimi box, I mean, I was like, that was my jam. I love doing unboxings, but I kind of just got like beauty box exhaustion a little bit for a while, so I decided to take a break. Now the only subscription services that I get excited about come with food inside of them. But there was a new addition to the family. You guys know that a few months ago I worked with Look Fantastic. It's a really reputable um, website that was available in the UK that just came to the US and they carry beauty products, hair products, like all kinds of beauty, whatever, everything related. Well, they have a beauty box. And I think it was the first time in probably two years maybe that I actually got excited or like renewed excitement over a subscription box. So I wanted to include this in my monthly favorites because this does kind of remind me of another um, luxury beauty subscription, but it's a little bit different. I feel like it's the brands in here aren't as exhausted as in other subscriptions. So this is the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. It starts at $16 a month, I believe, or rather between $16 and $19 a month, depending on how long you subscribe. Every month the box is different, but it's one of those like harder boxes where you could keep stuff in it. Last month it had palm trees on it. So after I worked with Look Fantastic, they introduced me to the subscription and I was like, so, uh, you think I can, uh, you think I can get it? Anyway, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I need this in my life. So every box comes with an L magazine, and it's a little one. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about little stuff. It's like the L magazine, but in little. I don't know. Okay, so maybe it's not that exciting. Of course, it comes with a little booklet inside, but anyway. So just to give you an idea how the brands in here aren't as, they're not as exhausted. I can't, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, viewer exhaustion, where, like, if you get other really popular subscription boxes, they're, like, the same brands, almost, like, recycled. Um, so in here, we have um, Skin 79. You got, like, a BB cream. This, I think my mom used to use this when I was little. This is Mane and Tail um, Shampoo and Conditioner. I love when stuff is this size because I'm like, oh, hey, that'll take you out of a pinch or in a hurry or if you need to take a trip or if you have someone coming to visit you and you need options, you know what I mean? Like not everyone's gonna come over that has color treated hair and wants like all organic, sulfate free, all natural type hair care products. They're like, yo, where's like my head and shoulders? You know, and so it's good to have options of stuff at your house. Um, a couple of other beauty products that are in here. I've never heard of this brand. This is the brand called Lottie, Lottie London, and it's a little like egg chapstick. We also have a Lord & Berry eyebrow pencil. Actually, let me swatch this because I've been experimenting with my brows lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Um, oh, that's nice. It's like a really matte brown. Have you guys ever noticed that some brow pencils are like a little waxy? Like they have a little bit of a sheen almost to them? That almost feels like an eyeshadow in a stick. That's pretty cool. Um, another brand that's in here is Gatineau. Gatineau, and this is a, what is this? Oh, it's a cleanser. Can we smell it? Oh, that smells good. Are you sure it's a cleanser? Maybe I'm not reading 
this right. I think it's a lotion. Gently removes makeup. No, it is a cleanser. Oh, that's cool. And it smells really good. Let me smell it again. All right, and uh, let me get it on my nose too. Jeez Louise. All right, and then we have a body milk from Coors in a basil lemon. Oh, I know, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna eat it. Let's just, let's just call it what it is. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make this video infinitely long, you guys. I'm really sorry. Not really. Oh, that smells delicious. All right, let's put some of that on. All right, so yeah, I wanted to include this in my favorites because I was like, um, Look Fantastic is new to the U.S. They probably don't know about this awesome beauty subscription box that comes in an awesome box. All right, I'm biased because of the color of the box. All right, moving on to more monthly favorites. You guys know I love to throw in these randoms or randos as I like to call them or men. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Random favorites in here. The first one is a pair of sweatpants and you guys know I am a mom of boys and originally I was a tomboy growing up. My mom had to put me in like etiquette classes or like those formal. I don't know what they, um, what they're officially called, I think they're called etiquette classes, where they like properly train you how to be a lady. Anyway, but I was a tomboy. So deep down inside, I'm still a tomboy. And when I was at Target the other day, um, just, I'm gonna give you a minute. I'm gonna give you a minute to look at how amazing my new sweatpants are. Um, yes, these are superhero lounge pants. So I got them in a large because they are lounge wear and I like it to be loungy. Um, but it's that like, it's not, it's like a sweat material, but it's like, can you guys see me through it? Can you see, see, me, see me through it, see through me? Can you see, I'm having an ESL moment, can you tell? Um, and they also come in like a dark gray and they have like Iron Man on them. Okay, why am I this excited? Anyway, I wanted to show you guys because you're new to Target so you could probably still get them. I'll try and find them and link them in the description. And I dropped something too that, I need to include in these monthly favorites because it's awesome. <sighs> All right, squirrel. <laughs> One more random, it's a book. I don't wanna get into it because um, I know a lot of Judgy Judies are gonna come out at me because of this book, but if you guys are like stricter parents, like you like rules and schedules and like guidelines and you know, you're a little bit more uh, less flexible as a parent, um, this is a really good book. I wanted to just, throw it out there. Again, I, I talked about it in a vlog. I talked about it in my Insta stories. I've really been inspired by it. So I'm just going to tell you that if you, if my type of parenting resonates with you, look into it yourself. <laughs> the end. Okay, now hair care. Three things of hair care. Two of them are like the same thing, but I wanted to give you guys options because I know one is easier to find than the other. So when I got my hair done, Katie gave me some products from a brand called Intelligent Nutrients. And Intelligent Nutrients is a brand that was designed by the creator of Aveda. So Aveda was designed by this really, 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 really intelligent man, but he sold it to Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. You guys always criticize me when I say Estee Lauder. Lauder. You know what, what brand I'm talking about. So they sold it and he designed this new brand and this new brand is like super uber healthy. Like it's so healthy that you could literally eat it, right? So it's a volumizing spray. You guys know my situation with three hairs. So when I blow dry my hair, curl my hair, whatever, I always use a volumizing spray. The one that I was loving or love is from Briogeo, the Bloom Blossom and Bloom Volumizing Spray. This stuff is awesome and it smells it smells like tang. <laughs> I'm sorry, Briogeo, but it smells like tang and I love it. <laughs> it's like the nostalgia like 90s kid in me. I'm like Mmm, it smells like tang. Anyway, so Briogeo's probably easier to find because it's at Sephora or you can find it online. It's a great brand. You guys know I'm a die-hard, ride-or-die fan of Briogeo products, right? But this product is super similar to it and they're both really, really, really great healthy lines. So I just thought I would give you guys options. They both have about the same amount of product. I think, I think if I were to compare them, I love the smell of this one more, but I love the sprayer or the optimizer on this one a lot better because I literally go and it like boom, what's my entire head? <laughs> anyway, so these are awesome. 
Moving on. Briogeo's dry shampoo. Their dry shampoo is not an aerosol can. Can we talk about that for a second? It's so awesome. Um, when I found out that a lot of companies were doing dry shampoos now without automizers, I was like, shut the front door. How does that even work? Oh, let me show you. So this is a biotin infused, uh, charcoal and biotin infused dry shampoo. I didn't actually get it. I didn't actually buy it to absorb the oil in my hair. I bought it because it smells so good, but it's actually a really great product. And I love the fact that it's not aerosol because you're getting more product and you're using less of it. So what you do is you give it a good shake. You turn it. I don't know if you guys can see that little hole right there. I actually turned off my ring light so it wouldn't be so bright. You twist it. And then, you guys, I'm about to make a mess for you guys. You ready for this? It's gonna come out this way. Ready? Oh my God, I'm nervous. Look, did you see that? Ah, isn't that cool? So you like part your hair and then you like zhuzh it in there. But I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. I kind of put some on my hand and then I do shh, 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 and I like rub it in there. I actually have like, right now my hair is probably like 80% dry shampoo. It's dirty. Like my hair is filthy, disgusting. Like look, it stays that way. Like that's how dirty it is. But this. This is helping his sister out because you know I can't go a day without washing my hair. Well, I'm doing it now. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> wow, you guys must think I'm like, but I'm not. I'm just in a good mood. All right, let's get into, oh, all right. I was going to skip an item, but I can't because I really like it. The Bliss um, Blood Orange and White Pepper Sugar Scrub. It's so good because it's soapy. Have you guys ever used a scrub that is just a scrub? So it's either like a salty scrub or a sweet scrub and it's a little oily, but it doesn't foam. This one is foamy, like it's soapy and it suds up. So you're like ripping at your skin, exfoliating real good, but there's also soap in there. So you're like, it's almost like moisturizing, cleansing and scrubbing all at the same time. And you guys know that when I do stuff like this, it's because I want you to achieve further understanding. This helps you understand me better. Oh. All right, Danny. Well, just uh, keep it moving, sister. Do I need to talk about this again? Like, I'm so, I swear, you guys, Melissa must think that I am her stalker because I've talked about this palette like 17 times this entire month, but I'm a real big fan. I actually haven't even used a lip product. I'm like, oh, there's a lip product in there? Oh, go figure. I am so in love with the shadows that she picked and this blush. This blush alone makes the entire palette. The palette is $20. I pay more than $20 for one blush. So if you don't like the eyeshadows in here, who cares? Pay $20 for this blush because it's awesome. I think it's actually sold out right now though, but you guys, you need it in your lives. Now let's talk about two lip products. The first one is the one that I'm wearing right now, and this is from Hourglass. It's one of their weapon lipsticks. No, it's um, Confessions, Confession Lipsticks, something like that, in the shade I've Never. It's so good. I love how little the applicator is because you could really like go ham on your lips and like overdraw them comfortably. It's just awesome. So I've never from Hourglass. And then if you're looking for a really awesome metallic lip, which I know I'm late on the trend, L'Oreal Infallible Matte Metallic Paints in burgundy, bronze burgundy. All right, not necessarily bronze burgundy. I'll show you guys a picture. Not necessarily bronze burgundy, I love it, but I think it's the formula that makes this product so awesome. A really awesome, super hairy doe foot applicator that facilitates the application of these matte metallics. Really awesome. Plus it's a drugstore price. I don't know, you guys, some of you are fans of L'Oreal, others aren't. Actually, let me see if it smells, because I know L'Oreal products are very perfumey. No scent whatsoever. There you go, you guys. You're welcome. And then, um, man, Danny, keep it moving. Some complexion products. Smash, mesh, mesh, <laughs> Smashbox Primerizer. This stuff is so good. Now, it's not going to blur your fine lines. It's not going to fill in your pores. It's not going to um, make uh, foundation application smoother. It's just a really nice hydrating alternative before a light to medium coverage foundation. So if you're just wanting extra hydration, like a boost of hydration, or like you're wearing a more full coverage foundation, uh, a more matte type foundation, this is a really good option. So I really, really have been a fan of it. But if you guys are, you know, smooth, smoothing, 
fans or pore filling fans, this is not going to do it for you. You might have to use both. Um, then the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I do have a review on this and I did timestamp me wearing it throughout the day. So I think I wore it for like eight hours and I do a full in-depth review on this foundation. I really like it. On its own, I probably wouldn't use it because you guys know how I feel about coverage. I love sheer to light coverage products. This is a full coverage product, but as a mixer into foundations or into primers or into a BB cream, tinted moisturizer, CC cream, etc., etc. Who's bothering me right now? Um, uh, as a, like a mixing agent, or rather a mixer, <laughs> part of a foundation cocktail, it's really good. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion on the product or rather how I would use it. If you guys have super duper oily skin, it claims to last for 15 hours. I wouldn't go that far. So it's a good product, but you know, let's not stretch the truth a little bit. NARS, um, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This has been my friend in this disgusting Dallas summer. What I do is I take a brush. <laughs> Whoa, hey, whoa, chill out, bro. Get out of the way if you don't like to eat my boot, man. All right, so um, I'll just take like a domey synthetic brush and I will just do a couple of bumps, boom, boom, in here. Cover a blemish, cover a blemish, cover a blemish, cover a blemish, and then with my finger, I just kind of pat it out. I'll take a damp beauty blender and I'll put on some cream blush and some mascara and boom, that's like my makeup for the day. I'm actually gonna film that tutorial probably tomorrow because I really want to show you guys how I do my no foundation makeup. So I'll do, I still want to look presentable, but I don't want to wear foundation. That's how I do it with this little guy. And I'm in the shade custard. Custard is like my exact color. So if I wanted like a foundation match, it's custard. Custard. <laughs> custard. And then two more products and we're done. A brush from IT Brushes for Ulta. These are the IT Cosmetics brushes designed specifically for Ulta stores. And this is the number, I'm totally gonna give away my age right now. The color, the number 105, it's the Airbrush Blending Crease. So this is a really good brush because it's a little deceptive. Do you guys see it? It's like, well, it's not that chubby. It's more like a crease brush, you know? It's not a good brush for a transition shade. Actually, this brush is awesome because if you have a color switch, like a cleaning, like a brush cleaning tool like this, right? So you take it and you color switch it, or rather you clean off the brush. You go in with your transition shade and you do your transition. Then you go in with a darker color and you focus it on the crease. It's big enough where it can do the transition, but it's also small enough where you could focus it on the crease or the outer, um, the outer V. So if you're traveling and you want to bring one brush, this is one of those brushes that's going to allow you that much, um, what's the word like movement so you could do the transition then you can concentrate on the crease so it's big enough but small enough all at the same time i don't know it's hard to explain but it's really really good and then the last favorite is a perfume that my friend Vero gave me this is from urban outfitters you guys it's an 18 dollars perfume that will rock your socks off knock your socks off i don't know something like that it's uh, pistachio brulee this reminds me of Joe Malone fragrances. And Joe Malone fragrances are like $5,000. Okay, maybe not that much, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's an $18 perfume. It smells like a really luxury, high-end, expensive perfume. And it just smells awesome. I'm just gonna put some on right now, even though I already put on perfume. Who cares, right? This is literally how much perfume I put on, you guys. If I ever get a boyfriend, I feel really bad for him and his sinuses. <laughs> anyway, that is it for my monthly favorites. I will list and link all these products in the description box below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up.